Let's see if I can make it to the quest giver while walking before you can make it while mounted. Oh, yeah. Well, I made it. I'll give it to I you. Made I'll, it. I'll give you points for walking. <clears throat> Nice work out there. And now you know the story of the trolley. Won't do oh you much, boy, do I. <laughs> much good without Talos, though. I really committed it to memory, too. I'm ready for that quiz whenever you're ready to give it to me, Jarek. If there was even a single one that still functioned. Things might be different, but, well, here we are. You want to know how here. I got this trolley? <laughs> what do I got this trolley? My father. Not that it'd do you any good, but we do have a Talos we've been meaning to repair. I can show you if you'd like. <laughs> a Penny Mantic in the chat says, the issue with this section is the story is on rails. <coughs> nice. I see. The means to build Talos stone by stone are lost to us. Tis true. But here before us slumbers a most fine specimen. I say that about Arianji anytime I catch him sleeping. Mm. Indeed, were it not for a few minor failings, I would be, it would be, in working condition. It will likely require naught but a few modest repairs and a suffusion of ether. Well, if you think you can get that thing up and running, far be it from me to stop you. But what exactly do you reckon is the problem? I should stress that I have performed only the most cursory of examinations. Those such arcane constructs are not wholly unfamiliar to me. As I did suspect from the first, it is host to a network of veins through which ether floweth freely. Or so it would, were it not for several fractures which now impede said flow. This is why you always need to replace your rubber hosing on anything that requires oil. To bridge these fissures requireth a material highly conductive to ether. Once it in place, I believe it be possible to restore the Talos to life. Have you seen my card holder? Might I prevail unto thee to require acquire that which we require? I spied but three obstructions to the flow of ether in the Talos, and thus would I ask you provide three stones of the debitage. All else will be made ready upon thy return. <laughs> oh my, did you see yeah, him jump yep. in the background? <laughs> oh my god. Zero chill. I love him. I absolutely love him. I do not need to listen to his essay, but I love him. <clears throat> Absolutely love him. He's gonna die. Uh, <laughs> the, who? Oh, Kara, acquire these nuts. <laughs> acquire these nuts. We require. <clears throat> There's one up the hill. Kill the thirst mole. The thirst mole must die. The thirst mole must die. Didst thou succeed in procuring stone from the debitage? Yeah, I got a sack yeah, of got, rocks, man. Yeah. Here you go. Fat stack of stone. You mean your sack of rocks? Yeah, I got it right here. From end to end, the paths by which ether may flow through the Talos have been duly mended. I fixed it. <laughs> they but require sufficient endowment. Oh, wait a moment. They just need some power. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to turn it on. Strange, the core refuse... Ref <laughs> The core refuseth to stir. I fear the condition of this Talos is more dire than I previously surmised. So it was the Boy, heart animated the shit out of him. Did you see his little neck like pop? Yeah. Thou didst foresee this outcome? Well, no, not exactly. We've never gotten this far in trying to repair it, so we had no way of knowing the heart was the real problem. We tried to find another in case things turned out that they are now, but this isn't really my story to share. Please, Jarek, if something went wrong, maybe we can help. All right, all right. The Talos, their hearts cannot be made of just any stone. You need a special sort, which is sufficient ethereal conductivity. That it was three, wait, and it was three years ago when, when she, no. No, I cannot. I'm sorry, but you'll have to hear it from Thaf or someone else. Then he runs off crying, I assume. <sighs> Back to the tavern, then. Mm, shouldn't have said that. He shouldn't have said that at all.
Magnus' wife was a oh. miner, you know. Oh, he's got a voice! Greatest prospector there ever was. Hey, not too bad. Not too far off. When the golem heart started failing, she was the first to head out in search of more. Problem was, most of the veins ran dry ages ago. And finding fresh ones to tap's only gotten harder. But she wasn't one to be deterred. She just kept digging deeper and deeper. And then the mine collapsed. Well, that's a short story. Yeah. We labored day and night to clear away the rubble. But it took us two months to find her. To find her body. Magnus has never been the same since. Where is he, if you don't mind my asking? Ah, yes, well, if he's not here, there's only one other place he'd be. The Rectica Greatwood! <laughs> <laughs> Elian made me laugh. Oh. Wow, he's, uh, he's yeah. really going for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're gonna give him a voice and I'm gonna find out I was very wrong. I think you, I think you nailed it. What? Oh, you again. How many times must I tell you? The trolley won't run! We'd be better off dismantling the damn thing and selling the parts for scrap. Now piss off back to wherever you came from. And don't let me catch you around here again. He sounds like that weird animation we watched. What was it, Grim? That YouTube thing where the faces were all crazy? What were their names? Oh, you're not wrong. Yeah. Captain Grimm? Yeah, Captain Grimm. My son was named like Captain Grimm. My I was wife. gonna go with Scotty from Star Trek, but oh, yeah, no. sure. I see where you're I see where you're coming from. Maybe it's just because he was yelling. Being Edgar, you here have with abs them, and you have to build them into your chest armor. It beats going home. Home stopped being home when I lost them. I thought to try and drown my sorrows. But somehow, the bottle's never deep enough. No bottle is. Believe me, I know. Okay. Oh, you see how you're having a heart of heart? You should do this with Mentilia. You should do this with the people you care about. And sometimes it's easier with strangers. Uh... Not like you. Not my own flesh and blood. I grew up an orphan. So I never really knew what family meant. And there's family you choose, buddy. Not until I met a man who offered to take me in and make me his pupil. He was a kindly soul, always looking out for me, like a father. Not that I appreciated that at the time, or anything else for that matter. <laughs> he's he's okay. got some self-awareness. But I finally back had to a that, family. That, that flashback and then, again. And then I robbed a young girl of hers. I did my best to make amends, to offer her comfort. But the more I look back on it, the more I realize just how inadequate my efforts were. I let her down. Mm. That is why I refuse to let her legacy die. In the end, all we can do is press on for those we have lost, for those we can yet save. And that requires your Talos. Please, Magnus. You are our only hope of reaching Nabath Areng. <laughs> what rubbish. <laughs> <laughs>
She's not gone. No matter what you say or believe, she's not. Come on. Oh, we got eye contact. Oh, he's yeah, approaching. Kyle can, Kyle, can you let this moment land? Okay. We can <laughs> still bring her back. Do it. Yes. Almost there, dude. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> so close. Uh, so close. Actual physical contact. Uh, Almost. Oh, you just, just, you just, she, you just, you you just, you just, you just, you just, you you right, you right there. You're right there, dude. You don't have to be her. You can be you. Yes. Yes. That's all you, you say. You, you, get, you get on the level. I don't know how old she is still. I don't, but she's Kyle getting edged as chat. She's no. short. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're, we're getting emotionally edged by Vagrid here. He is just freaking, he is a, he is a walking emotional blue balls like, and it's killing me inside. On, dude. Be a, be a dad thing. I have explained this. This is a trigger for me. Be, be a thing. Be a dad. Do the thing. Do the... You, yes, I get that you're an orphan, but you just explained you had a father figure in your life and you 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 recognized it. Yes. And you understood its importance. Yep. Yeah. It was almost there. Just take the father figure and become that. And just, then take it, just take it to one and put it in the other. <laughs> Just be a good do dad. Yeah, man. Just do it. Do it. Just, <laughs> yep, yep. Exactly do it. that. Yeah. Exactly that. Exactly that. Okay, that that was good. I honestly, I, I was a little. Uh, I was, I was honestly disconnected the start of that because like she just normal died. Like we went through all the storm blood where people horrible things happen to people in flashbacks, and I'm like, oh, she normal died. Oh, that's not that bad. She didn't become a monster, get sold in the servitude, have her parents, you know, traitor to the, the empire or something. She just died. Hey, that ain't a big deal. It's fine. But, you know, it turned into a thing. And we almost, uh, uh, I'm, I'm glad we're on our way. We're on, we're, we're getting there. Thank you. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah. This is like, this, I get what they're going for. Yeah. Is, I am. I have admitted this is a personal problem for me. I don't like these kind of of arcs, mm. and I want them to be over as soon as possible. Well, the sad part is, like, with a sacrificial character like this, you know, we're hurtling towards him doing the right thing, the dad thing, when it's either too late or it's about to happen. <laughs> tears in your eyes. Like, you, you got time with her right now. Like, be present. Yeah. yeah. I told you uh, near all the veins were tapped out dry years ago. Though I suppose if you really wanted to try, you may find something at Newbie's leavings. These names are totally ridiculous and made up. <laughs> no, I would not want to well go to Newbie's leavings. It was open well before Telos became commonplace, which is why the mining there was never quite as deep. When you get there, look for Gus, on, Gus John and tell him I sent you. But don't be surprised if he tells you the same thing. So, uh, thank you, buddy. Listen, so we gotta have a chat. Fanny, come on. We gotta have a talk, thank yep. you. We're gonna have a talk. Yep. You're over here doing your slash lean. I, I get it. Yep. I see you. Val's a hugger. Come you. on. Are, Bring it are, in. You are seen. Bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice lean. Well done. Off somewhere, are you? At last, a lead on the stone, uh, a lead on the stone, we need to power the Talos. I can't very well have you go on your own. Lead the way. Oh, yeah, yeah the, the, uh, the poetry of that, we have to find a heart with Thancred. Hmm. Dude, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in that. I want to see where this is going. I want, I want, let's, let's cap this shit. Let's put a cap yeah. on this. Let's break yeah, through let's, what's let's going on with Thancred here. Where, where are we going? I'm invested. Exactly. Oh, we're the, running, man. We're yeah. running. Okay. Well. You should have listened to Thaf. You're wasting your time. But this side is not d as developed as the others, is it not? Surely there must be something left. Whatever's left, if anything, is too far below to be safely excavated. Then our only option is to search for the high search the higher levels for any fragments of Leonine that may have been overlooked. Hmm. I suppose there may be one other way. 
Well, don't leave us in suspense. I'm definitely not angry about something else. <laughs> what you're asking for is a trade secret. I'll need to be duly compensated in exchange. <sighs> Fine. What do you want? The other day, I found a Vaubert gold piece down in the mines. A bloody Vaubert gold piece. And wouldn't you know it, I dropped the damn thing somewhere while I was working. I'll have you know it's pronounced Verbert. Continue. Find it. And I'll help you for what you want to know. I I've been playing too I much Redmage. No, there's no R. I know they should have put an R on Vaubert if they want to pronounce Verbert, but here we are. <laughs> sure, Bert. As I'm sure you've noticed, despite their best efforts to illuminate the corridors, it's rather dark here, meaning it will be much harder to find a single coin hiding in the shadows. That's why I propose we use these. Sun drops. They help the eye take in more light. As long as it ain't like friggin' uh, Red Eye from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cute, though. Yeah, you know, I like uh, I like the fan crits always kind of using the floor and fauna. Well, you don't got no magic anymore. Yeah. Oh, I found Dark. the Verbert gold piece. Oh. Yes, Verbert. Yeah, not to be confused with Sherbert, and yeah. certainly not to be confused with Verbert. Yeah, it's so, it's so dangerously deep is this gold piece. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Verbert, Kyle. Verbert is the uh, is the currency of Emmett um, Selch. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. Yes, Emmett Selch uses Verbert. In the end, my contribution was a little more than poor company. <laughs> Could I have not? Couldn't have done it without your sun drops. So you say, but you have a proven knack for success regardless of circumstances. I doubt very much I could have discovered it unassisted. I only managed to survive the Kirthen wilderness and the Imperial capital by virtue of extensive preparation, a habit of mine, chi mine since childhood, and one of my few positive traits which earned, uh, endeared me to Louis Wai, I imagine. I mean, no one asked Thanker, but if you feel like going on a <laughs> Dude, if you want to talk about your backstory, go for well, it, man. If you want to talk Open about up. your feelings, man, now is yeah, the time. Now is the time. It hasn't been easy finding ways to compensate for my condition. We were literally just making jokes about him compensating. Yeah. In the other Bring video. It. Every tool and trinket has proven vital to my continued success, such as it is. Had I chosen to pursue the arcane arts rather than espionage, well, I'd rather not think about it. So long as I have the means to protect those dear to me and to see my duties through, that's all that matters. Now, let's hurry to see that uh, see that return to Guthjohn. The sooner we get back to Orion Jane Menphilia, the better. But I want to... Okay. One Reese's cup for you, sir. <clears throat> well, a deal's a deal, but don't think this means you'll find what you're looking after. Oh my god, that's bright as yeah, shit. Well, we got so sun drops in our right eyes, now. man. First, I have to ask. You ever hear of a rock worm? No, but I have a feeling you're going to ask us to kill some. Mm. Rock worms? I know them by another name, though I'm fairly certain the locals call them knockers. <laughs> Aye, that they do. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them, those little bastards may be the answer to your troubles. They dig up Leonine in the mines? It's a rare occurrence, but yes. That said, it's usually amount no more than a few flakes. Well, our only option, our only other option sounds tantamount to suicide. So, how can we draw out these rock worms? <laughs> Garrett 8 confirmed. I, I never denied it. I have a dog and... She has carrot with pants. Ah, uh, what? Carrot pants? Carrot with pants. Oh, sure. Look at that. Assuming you find something, bring it here and I'll have a look. What? Oh, that's you. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting, oh my God. I'm wandering knockers, Kyle. Wandering knockers. Help me with these wandering knockers. Yes, I'm 12. Deal with it. A pair of knockers, no less. Oh, I got more <laughs> knockers. These might be mine though. Those are your knockers. I'll help. I mean, oh, thank I need you. help with the knockers. All right. Oh, wow. One of seven. Wait, what? One of seven. What wow. is this? World of Warcraft? What, what are what, we doing? What is this quest? What is questing? I sense a hostile presence in the seven rubble. Seven is half of 14. It was by design. <laughs> 
Oh man, I have to touch seven knockers. Your junior is so Oh big no! Enough. Oh my god, that's such a bad joke. Yeah. Between the two of you, I'd say you've got quite the haul. Best get comfortable, friends. It's going to take time for me to sift through all this. Tallow, you monster. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we, listen, we, uh, we're here to knock knockers. Oh, ooh, a tender moment while we wait. You may not remember this about ooh. Armin Philia. Oh. No, we're just going to watch him craft, maybe. Mm, he's reminiscing. I'm not a cool rock band. I can't ask for later. So, okay. Long before the science, she was something of a minor. <laughs> 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 Finally, it's in After game. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Oh, Flamine's the cat girl. Cat you... grandma. Oh, Flamine. I forgot about Flamine. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street on her way home after another hard day's work. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe. Along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Aww. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start. But I could never bring myself to do it. Instead I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. We're talking about Flamine, right? Uh, Mentilia. Oh, Mentilia. Okay. okay. I'm just going to go with the bottom one because it's less accusatory. <laughs> They're both accusatory. They are both. I'll, okay, I'll join you in that. Far from it. And Flamine has never let me live it down. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now, I have another chance to do things right. And I will not squander it again. Hey, come and see what I found. But you're squandering it. You're not going to believe this. Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. <laughs> so are you, Tancred. <laughs> it's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. You found Super Leo 9. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. It says... To my beloved oh. Magnus oh, and Schooley. Oh, yeah. Uh... Yes! Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts. No fate but what we make. We got a full-on cult in chat right now. <laughs> the, the cult, the, the trolley provides. If we are but loyal to it. Before you set in the talus, will you take it to Magnus? For three long years, he has believed she died for nothing. He must know the truth, and her sacrifice was not in vain. Right then, let's not keep everyone waiting. 
I have made minimal personal growth. Let's leave. <laughs> anyway, I'm not squandering it, you guys. Come on. I'm doing great. I'm I'm present. Like, yeah, but you're, you're, you're sulking, you know? Not emotionally present. Physically, yes. Is that honestly, that's the first time I think Minfilia being a minor has been brought up in game. Uh, that I'm aware of, yeah. Yeah. Everyone's just been spoiling us. I know. It's it's really now. just ruining Shadowbringers. I think it was 1.0 knowledge, but... It, it yeah. is, yeah. I'm pretty sure. If you've co come to complain about the trolley, you'll find no sympathy from me. I told you before I won't, it won't run, and you wouldn't listen. Oh, but it will, now that we have this. That's a hell of a way to say we found this from your dead wife. Your name is engraved on it, along with your son's. It was a gift from your wife, Magnus, from Agna. Okay, he came out and said it. <laughs> it was kind of a cruel reveal. <laughs> Kluzik. Jeez. Considering that she died while discovering rare minerals, I'd say she died in vain. Rough, but true. Oof. Back to Magnus. No. No, she couldn't have. Agna. Can't anyone just have like kind of a normal okay day in Shadowbringers? I think everything's the, like the Exarch seems like to have an okay day every day. Thing you've ever experienced. Take it. Do with it what you will. Are you certain it would delay our plans? But I said, take it. It was you who found it. You who needs it. Looking at all that stone, all I can see is. Please, just leave me be. I hope you'll be here there when the Talos stirs to life. I'm sure she'd want you to see it. Would you do the honors of delivering this to Orianger? Nodders. Hmm. It's all well and easy to drink someone else's tea, Thancred. All Maybe. well and helpful. Hmm, he says. Very good. Now, let us begin. Preparations for the enchantment are complete. When the heart hath been suffused with a sufficient quantity of ether, the golem Golden. should be restored oh, to life. You would. He has such great hair. It is Can't nice. believe he's hiding that shit under a hood. Yeah. All right then. Whenever you're ready. I'm assuming it's just gonna like push the back of the cart and that's the whole, the whole ride. That part from the cinematic, as we all remember. <laughs> they roll this music out it's for working. anything. It's working! M Magnus! Wretched heap of stone and rubble. <laughs> this worthless pile of earth, and yet I can't. I can't.
That was well done. Yeah. That hurts. Oh, oh, come on. Thank you. Come on, thank you. <gasps> oh, oh, bro. Oh. Damn. What trouble is the child? I shouldn't be here. I don't deserve to be. I don't deserve any of the things you've done for me. I'm just a burden. Helpless and hopeless. If tomorrow came and I was gone, it would be better for everyone. Thancred most of all. He'll never admit it, but I can see it in his eyes. I wish he'd just say it. Just say that he hates me. That he wishes I was dead so that she could return. None of this is thy doing, child. Twas I who set the Oracle on her path unto the first. Oh. I who condemned you all to suffer these torments. Tis my sin alone. And one that will haunt me unto my dying That's day. That's the way we're going with this. Yeah, I like that. Yet I dare not <clears throat> dwell over long on my many regrets. For the world is a tapestry of fates interwoven and inseparable and we who strive to better it cannot choose but make difficult decisions for naught of worth was ever achieved without sacrifice and thus must man ever struggle to weigh life against loss the one for whom thou mournest beareth no grudge were she here, she would not suffer thee to languish in sorrow. She would tell thee to seek thine own path, thine own purpose. It is a truth which I myself was slow to learn. Yet a truth it remaineth. Damn, Murray. Yeah, man. Thou needst but have faith. Have faith. And all will be well. <laughs> so, Thancred, um, yeah. that's how it's done. Yep, that's how it's done. You get on their level. I don't know how old she is, so, you know, maybe. But, you know, you get on her level. You, you hold. You, 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 you linger. You talk. You say things. Tapestry thing, that was nice. That was a really good, that was a good analogy. That was a good speech. That, that, yeah, that's the most. Uh, and I like Urianja. That's the most I've liked Urianja. Yeah, well, him admitting that's... some mistakes, right? Like, yeah, we know he's not, you know, he's not cruel in why he's withholding information, but it is nice yeah. to hear him admit mistakes. Yeah. Uh, where are you feeling? I have a strong feeling, but I'd like to know yours first. Um, I kind of like the bottom one because it's, I feel like he's not going to do it anyway. And that kind of antagonizes him that direction. Mm, okay. But what, what's your feeling? I feel strongly on the top option. Yeah, you like the top one? Yeah. Go to her. I, I like because go to her is a command, and it's easy for him to be like, no, this is already covered. But instead being like, dude, like you see this happening? Like, you have, okay. you, have right. you no words? All right. Okay. You win. Yep. Go. Not today. Mm. At least we teed him up for a badass reply. Yeah. Yeah, that seemed freaking rules. Yeah, that was great. That's some shit right there. Oh. Oh, meanwhile. In the Crystarium. In the Crystarium. We don't meanwhile in the Crystarium. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, look at this peeping yeah, Tom. Watching TV. Oh, nice. He just entered a room. It's just Emmett. Yeah. To what do I owe the pleasure that is your extended stay? <laughs> uh, 
owe to the tediousness of our hero's present endeavors. <laughs> that and the insufferable abundance of light in Armor M. I should be glad to keep my distance. Oh, I'm rather fond of sleep, you know. It's a wonderful way to pass the time. <laughs> I love Emmett more and more with every word he's Not that my compeers would agree, mind you. Always on the move, the lot of them. Like La Habrea, constantly jumping from vessel to vessel. Such fire, such determination, so much passion, fleeting and forgotten. Come to think of it, Exarch, I don't believe I've ever seen you retire to your chambers for so much as 40 winks. However, do you keep your eyes from closing? The cold shoulder. You wound me, sir. <laughs> so I say to my cat from now on when he ignores me. <laughs> Always so guarded in our every interaction. Interactions you curiously refrain from sharing with the Scions and their champion. And risk souring your budding relationship? I think not. Much as I dislike you, there are more useful targets for his energies. And I'm not in the habit of pointing him at my enemies like a weapon. Is that right? Fond of him, are you? You continue to fascinate me, Exarch. But tell me, who are you? The once great nation whose ingenuity gave birth to this tower was shaped by my hand. As such, I know full well the wonders it can facilitate and those it cannot. There is nothing in these walls which could have aided you in summoning our dear friend across time and space. No. Much less in possession of his mortal flesh, not even I could have performed such mm. a feat. Okay, this interests me. I see. You had a hand in Alag as well. You would know what I am? I am the adjudicator of the sacred history with which you dared trifle. I am keeper of this tower's boundless wisdom. The wisdom of ages without age, of everywhere and nowhere. The great work of those who tamed the wings of time and grasped the nature of the rift. Uh, those are some words. It is a boon <laughs> yeah. born of the sacrifice of brave heroes who gave their lives for a brighter future. I will not see their hopes and dreams squandered. The history which led us here will be unwritten. I promise you that. Well, it seems we are both eager to fulfill our duties, then. On that much, we are in agreement. Oh. So Emmett is in awe of the Exarch's power. Yeah, and the Exarch couldn't have used the Crystal Tower to do the summoning, so... That's interesting. I mean, granted, we already that... knew there was more than the Exarch was letting on, but yeah. we didn't really know the questions to ask. 